Guys, deluded, thank you for tuning back in. I'm back again. Now, Trey Coyle and Sam Greenwood, we might as well discuss them. Firstly, Trey Coyle. Now, everybody speaks about Amici, Saka, Eddie Nketiah, Reese Nelson, all of these players, and they're all sick, especially Amici. I, I'm praying for you, Amici, if you're watching this. Fingers crossed, hopefully, you return from your injury issues quick and safe and sound. Amici, Saka, and Coyle, for me, they're the ones I love the most out of all these young players. Coyle can play on the flanks, can play deeper, can play in the 10 role. He's a great player. You saw when he was a schoolboy and he was playing for the under-18s what he could do. Unfortunately, such is life and such is football. It's never plain sailing. And he's similar to Amici now being out until the rest of 2019. Coyle went through his own, sadly, injury issues last season as a first-year scholar, which really... Didn't allow him to kick on as much as he could and build on build on the promising first um, initial season as a schoolboy he had and the initial promise um, to the point where I'm pretty sure he would have liked to have starred more in the FA Youth Cup run to the final and definitely have featured more for England's under-17s. I'm not sure how fully fit he was in the summer um, at the tournament. But he's back. Nice to see him get a goal and an assist in the 4-1 victory at under-18 level against Norwich. I see him getting minutes as either against Liverpool or Blackburn. I think he, was, he got minutes against one of them and he's on the bench for the other. So it's nice to see him finding his feet again, man. He's a really good player, great self, con good, good close control, good technical quality. He's got everything um, that you look for in an Arsenal player. He turns 18... Um, in January, and if he stays fully fit, he's someone that could be on the radar of you know Emery again. And Michi the same. You guys know I love Saka. I don't know if he's going to end up as a left winger, right winger, right back, left back. But he's sick, man, and it has to happen. Any either way at Arsenal, he remind, his rise could be a bit like Maitland Niles in that respect. So it's nice to see, man. Hopefully his injury issues allow him. Um, his injury issues are minimised and allow Coyle to kick on. Sam Greenwood. Now, I knew he was a good player at, at Sunderland. I mean, I haven't got his record to hand, but he's pretty prolific at, at, at um, academy level scoring for them. He's a striker. He can play on his own. For He's not the biggest and the most robust, but he's, he can, his hold-up plays decent. But I was shocked. I'm shocked by the technical level of him. I knew he's a good player, but like he's a really good technical player. Um, I believe he's right-footed, but he, such is the, he uses both with ease. I mean... Yeah, like I've met, like he's he's very good both footed. It's hard to tell what foot he is. His movement is good. Um, he's a striker, but he can play on the flanks, either flank, and he's very good at um taking on his fullback and stuff like that. He's a very good player. His link up plays, movement, able to shield the ball. He's got everything you look for in someone that's gonna be if not come through the Arsenal academy, get bought from, get bought to. He's a good player. He's sixteen years of age, first year scholar. It's gonna take time. We need to be easy. The next step is to. He actually started off initially on the bench for the under-18s. In recent weeks, he's fe featuring from the start more. Carry on and build upon that and become a regular star. Now, hopefully, if I'm him, I'd set myself target of getting under 23 minutes at some capacity this season, such as it. Um, even if you look at the goal he scored from outside the area against against Sunderland, lovely first touch and then hit. He's, he's got the great things. Like Obviously, I'm not saying he's Bergkamp or Ozil, but he's got that majestic in him in the sense that it's like he reads the game before it's happened and he can clearly understand the greatness in having a good first touch. He's a very technical-based player and I've got a lot of time for that. His goal against um, Southampton was very good. His goal um, where he, he took it from outside the area, his free-kick goal against Norwich was a cracker. Um... The 3-1 defeat against Chelsea, uh, where he set up Balogun, lovely cross from the right-hand side, pinpoint accuracy to set up Balogun, who's had started the season well. So for me, he's a good player, and you can see why Man United wanted him and a couple other clubs. And Sunderland, I really feel for them and their fans, because the club is not being ran properly, and they're having to sell um, prospects. I actually have a vid about um, a lad that went to Liverpool, actually, weeks ago, and I haven't, still haven't uploaded it Um so they're losing promising players. I believe his name's Luca. I can't remember his first name. But um, yeah, like this guy is very technical base, and I feel sorry for Sunderland losing prospects like this because he could have possibly made first team level. By the guy's own words, he needs to improve his heading, his positioning, and his shooting. That's someone, that, and he said other things. That's someone that really wants to improve. I like his attitude. They're both good players, man. I'm I'm happy that Coyle was able to get through his injury issues and he started off the season on in an all right fashion. And Sam Greenwood surprised me, not because they know he's a good player, but I'm shocked as how good of a player he is, if that even makes sense, people. But it's down to them to keep doing it, man. I really like how Greenwood especially drifts from wide areas and 
season after season, we sadly see some top prospects leave this club and depart the club. But it's nice to see we're getting some young players in. Or like I've said, the opportunities that can be that have been left with the likes of Dragomir, Josh De Silva, Chris Willett, Crowley, um, Banasia, Jeff, all of these historical names for over the last two, three years that have Marlon that have left. Um, positions are opening up for them. I mean, you look at Joe Willock, the amount of midfielders, Josh De Silva, the amount of midfielders that have, again, the amount of midfielders that have just rolled off my tongue. Um, Joe Willock has the ability to fight and cut amongst them, but if they if we kept these players all at the club, it would be hard for at least one of them to assert themselves because it's crabs at a barrel, it's crabs in a barrel mentality at this, at this club, essentially, or at any academy level. Yeah, you're talented and stuff, but that's the base level of being there and it's just just about luck getting the chance manager liking you and all of these things but because these players have left and some with a bit more clout and a bit more buzz around them it's allowed some other players to flourish to be honest with you and actually just open up slots for them essentially so yeah man there's not much more to say on that front but oh yeah off topic i know he plays for manchester united but mason greenwood you saw my vid about the guy He's he, he's a he's a joy to watch as well at Man United, man. I mean, him and Greenwood together could have been crazy. I mean, he, ah, oh, this Greenwood scoring goal. Just go and look at Man United's highlights. He's scoring goals week in week out. So he really, I said it before. And if you want my extended thoughts on him, go and look at that vid. But he's someone I think has all the makings to break through Man United's academy. And he's a special talent, possibly the most special in years. I know they've had Gribben, they've had met, they've got many talents. They've got Chong, who's equally a baller. Um, they've got Gomez as well. But for me, Mason Greenwood, there's just something about him. Funny enough, I don't necessarily believe he'll end up as a striker. I don't possibly believe he could be made into a 10 or something like that. But regardless of the position, he, he can play in a bunch of positions. He's a great technician. And when you've got a good first touch and good technical qualities, you can play almost anywhere. So we'll see how it goes for him. But yeah, he's a bad boy footballer as well, man. He doesn't play for us, though. I'm not sure if he's relevant in this feed. But yeah, just check him out, man. Guys, DG.